Okay, next line. Let's just try and simplify this. So the first term, it would look better if we write the x minus 1 all squared in front of the natural log of x. So we'll do that. So x minus 1 all squared over 2 multiplied by the natural log of x. And then cleaning up this integral, I'm going to take out the constant 2. You don't have to do that, but I feel that if you can take constants out, it does leave you with less clutter inside. So uh, minus half times the integral of x minus 1 all squared. And it'll be all over x, so that will be over x. And that's integrated with respect to x, so don't forget the dx on the end. And uh, mustn't forget the limits, so this is integrated between 1 and 3. There you go. Okay, so looking at this last integral, what I'm going to do is expand the bracket x minus 1 all squared and divide each of the terms by x. And we should be able to integrate then each of the terms. So just going to move down. Let's uh, write the first term in. So that would be x minus 1 all squared over 2 times the natural log of x again minus a half times the integral and we'll expand the bracket as I said before so x minus 1 all squared is x squared minus 2x plus 1 and that's all over x and that's integrated respect to x between 1 and 2 Sorry, not 1 and 2, 1 and 3, I should say. 1 and 3, there you go. Okay, equals. Now I'm going to divide the x into each of those three terms. So x minus 1 all squared again, all over 2. Keep your integrals tidy. Don't take on too much, just in case you make a mistake. Minus a half integral. And we're dividing through by x, so that would be x squared over x is x, minus 2x over x is simply minus 2, and 1 over x, just going to leave that as 1 over x. Okay, I could write it as x to the minus 1, but uh, when we get to the integral of 1 over x, you should know that one already. Okay, so dx on the end. Okay, and square brackets between 1 and 3. Equals again. Now I'm going to integrate here. So uh, again, x minus 1 all squared all over 2 multiplied by natural log of x minus a half. Now the integral of x, let's just put this in brackets, the integral of x is x squared over 2. The integral of negative 2 is minus 2x. And uh, you might have written this as x to the minus 1, but the integral of 1 over x is the natural log of x, so plus the natural log of x. And we'll close that off. All right. And again, square brackets around this lot between 1 and 3. We could start substituting the limits in at this stage. Uh, I'm personally not going to do that. I'm just going to expand this bracket um, before I move on. So again, x minus 1 all squared over 2 times natural log of x. Multiplying out, we have minus x squared over 4. And minus a half times minus 2x is plus x. And then minus a half times plus natural log of x is negative a half natural log of x. So I don't have too many brackets here. Um, I believe that certainly makes it simpler, less chance, hopefully, of making any mistakes. Okay, so it's between the limits 1 and 3. Okay, so we're ready to uh, substitute in now. 
the value of 3 in place of x. So we have 3 take away 1, which is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have 2 and times the natural log of 3. So 2 natural log 3. Putting in the 3 now into this term, we have minus 3 squared, which is 9, over 4. And then 3 in here for x, so that's plus 3. And then minus half the natural log of 3. Now we have minus when we put in the 1 now for x. So I'll put this in some square brackets could put brackets around uh, this group of terms but it's not going to change anything so putting the 1 through the first term here 1 take away 1 is 0 so 0 squared is 0 0 times anything is 0 so we might as well forget that term putting the 1 into x squared over 4 is minus 1 quarter and then 1 in for x is plus 1 and then 1 in for natural log of x here becomes minus a half natural log of 1. OK. Equals. Let's uh, just expand this bracket out. And we can group together a few terms here. We can group together this natural log of 3 and this natural log of 3 there. So 2 natural log of 3 take away half natural log of 3 is 1 and a half natural log of 3 or 3 over 2 natural log of 3 and then we have minus 9 over 4 plus 3 so I'll just leave that as minus 9 over 4 plus 3 then we have minus quarter plus 1 that's plus 3 quarters and then we have the minus here so that's minus 3 quarters if I take it out of the bracket and then we have natural log of 1 the natural log of 1 is 0, so I can forget that. OK, I think we're nearly there now. So we have 3 over 2, natural log of 3, and then minus 9 quarters, minus another 3 quarters is minus 12 quarters, or minus 3. Then we add this 3, so it's 0. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. We've got the exact value, 3 over 2, natural log of 3. Okay, so hopefully you got that. And uh, as I said earlier, if you did, that's worth 6 marks. So uh, well done if you did that. Okay, and that brings us now to the end of question 6.